And what do you do back there in Liverpool? Uh, back in finance. finance. Really? Yeah. Oh, that, well, that, that's right at the heart of it. <laughs> so how do you guys feel about the Brexit vote? Yeah, you're going to ask. Of course. Uh, we vote for it. We vote for it. It's wonderful. Yeah. I think, I think a lot of younger people vote to the mate, and a lot of older people tend to vote to the to, to but there, is still, there is still a lot of young people that voted to leave though, the papers just don't report it, do they? They just sort of say, you know, it was just the old people that voted to leave, but obviously... But if you look behind, like, the Remain camp, if you look at the people who funded it, there's like big banks and big corporates, so it wasn't, you know, it's not for the old people. But well, the P3 it's a big business. It's a big business too, they are looking for themselves. Yeah, good. We wanted to get on with it. So yeah. you can do it on, we have to move in and out of What we find yeah. though is a lot of people that say they wanted to stay in, and you ask them why. I don't really know. Just the status quo, isn't it? You know. How did you guys see it in the financial? Uh, how did it? Was the pluses and minuses that you saw that made you go with it? I mean, well, the main thing was basically migration, the the EU free movement. Well, it's supply and demand, isn't it? Because effectively, what happens in the UK is obviously anyone in Europe can move to the UK. Um, now we're not affected in finance, but if you work in more kind of lower skilled jobs, it's a big drag. Because if if you, for instance, worked in um, Romania, you get say pay two dollars an hour. But if you come to England, it might be like fifteen dollars an hour. So obviously, a lot of there's a drag of pulling a lot of um, uh, low-paid people into the UK. Now, in our industry, it's not really a problem. But I know a lot of people like schools and healthcare. It's a big strain on housing. housing. Um, but people just say, oh, you're um, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, you're uneducated. You're, just you're, 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 you're not in finance. Yeah. And you don't see the flow. <laughs> so, right. You know. I think, they, I think they tell you what they, what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. But, but they still don't listen, because even after the vote, they still say, oh, no, the people got to go. That's no, the thing. They they're, 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 they I understand they're trying to say, well, yeah, it was passed, but we're going to ignore it. I understand that's being pushed right now. Well, I think the government was so sure that they were going to, they thought everyone was going to vote to stay in, didn't they? So it was such a shock on the day when it was when the votes came in. It's sort of like they did with Trump here. Yeah. So what's yeah. the general consensus with the whole Trump thing? Is it died down and everything will actually just going to get over it? Oh, no, 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 no. The, the, the butthurts are continuing. They don't give up. It's not like they go, oh, gee, okay, I was wrong. Yeah, gee, that overwhelming, believe we got our ass spanked. And we should maybe look at, no, they just double down on their stupidity. <laughs> so, the, the, you know, you're going to have that hardcore, like, I don't know, say 15, 20% that, they're just, they, they'll walk off the cliff. Really, you know, before they were meant to home. And of course, you got, you know, it's like, how do you do this? You look at, uh, hopefully, the people, well, obviously, you know, people look past the bullshit that the lying media puts out and realize that, you know, we're really heading in the right direction. Yeah, at least put the brakes on it, you know. Well, I think you know. it's the exact same in the UK, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's not about. Insult, she insulted. Yeah. It's the same the same <laughs> Trying to force people to say, if you do this, this is what will happen to be a massive recession. Actually, the economy is stronger than it was before. Before the Brexit vote, so who knows what's going to happen? Let me give you guys get out of jail free furniture. Yeah, we've got those. Yeah. You want to go to the back, see the YouTubes? Have you got YouTubes? Yeah, yeah. You'll be on it. Oh. Is it the Yeah, a little souvenir for your vacation. You know, you'll be able to go. Hey, that was us in New Orleans. Talking about Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I don't get your fired or anything. Yeah, we get out of jail free card. Well, you have a nice day. Oh, yourself. Nice. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.